Hey, what's up guys, this is Borea Trigger. Today, we are going to be doing the LEGO Speed Champions Ferrari Competition. This is a car that I was a little bit disappointed about when it got fully announced in the leaks. It was looking like uh, there was the potential that we would be getting a yellow Ferrari, which is something that I have been wanting for a long time. Not yellow specifically, but just a Ferrari that's not red. Uh, I've, I've said this so many times, every single Ferrari is red and I know that that's their color, so that's what they like to go with, but um, having all of my Ferraris look the, the exact same, it makes it so that Ferraris that I don't know as much about, they just kind of sit there looking like a Ferrari, which is to some a beautiful thing, but to me it's just another supercar. You know, I've got so many supercars that just really doesn't stand out. It was a little disappointing to find out, but we do actually have that thick yellow stripe going straight down the center. This car is really attractive. Ever since going eight wide, we've gotten two uh, Ferraris previously. We got the uh, the F8 Tributo first, and I think that was a 2020 set. And then we got the 512M. I think that was a 2022 set. They look good in eight wide, definitely. This car has 261 pieces, and a couple of those pieces being brand new, like our uh, wheel wells. These are the brand new ones that make it so that it's kind of flat on the top, so that the wheel well reaches straight up to the hood, and I think that looks excellent. This should have that brand new chassis piece, so it is going to sit low. The proportions are gonna be looking beautiful. Uh, I am seeing studs on top on the, uh, the, the, the top of the car, which is actually typical, that's fine. We got a couple of studs on the side of the car, and I only bring notice to this because the amount of studs that I'm seeing on top or on the sides is very minimal. We love to see it. Uh, the amount of stickers, I don't know yet, and in order to find that out, we're just gonna have to break open this box and get into the first time lapse. First bag is done on the competition, and uh, I have got a couple of things to say. This is a very great build so far. The first thing that I wanna talk about is, I completely forgot that the exhaust system were fully functional stud shooters. I have to say that that is probably the greatest uh, solution for an exhaust system I think I've ever seen from LEGO. I have nothing but respect for the, uh, the Speed Champions creators who made that happen because they grabbed something that has nothing to do with cars and made it look like it was made to be the exhaust of a car. These things look like they pop so loud that white girls within a one mile vicinity are calling the cops because they think they're gunshots. I love the interior, the, uh, the Ferrari headrests, I think are, to me, it's just hilarious. But of course, respect to it, it's really cool. Of course, first bag was just the back half and then the front half should be that last bag, or well, it is going to be because we have one bag and we have no front. Uh, the side skirts were nothing special. Uh, you see that all the time where you just build the skirts, attach them to the studs that are on the sides of the chassis. This little lip right here, uh, it's attached to, underneath these bricks right here, it's attached to a hinge system where you put it in this way and you swivel it down so that it's able to get a nice looking angle. Um, and then you just put these bricks on top, uh, not only for the aesthetic, but also to stabilize it. The rear, the, the tail lights with the black to give it the optical illusion that it's just uh, the red translucent pieces uh, is really nice. Let me see if I can grab one of these stud shooters out for you guys. Okay. Okay, so when I was a kid, I didn't really play with Legos. It's, it wasn't until I was an adult that I decided to actually start uh, playing with Legos. So let me see if I can figure out exactly how this works. So I grabbed a stud, put that in there. How do you make this thing shoot? You squeeze it? No. Man, I might be doing this wrong. Kind of seems like I am. So overall, I just love the uh, the look of this car. It does actually have a lot more stickers than I thought it did. This thing has, I think, 22. Yeah, it looks like 22. Um, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Uh, the build experience is fun enough that I can overlook the amount of stickers, and uh, I just appreciate the way that this looks overall. Anyways, uh, let's go straight into bag two. All 
All right, guys, I finished up the Ferrari Competition. This thing is looking incredible. As I'm sure most of you guys probably know, this is actually a car that is based off of a, another Ferrari. I'm gonna keep it a buck 50. I don't even know what the name of the car is. If you know, go ahead and drop it in the comments because I don't. The closest thing that I have to compare this to, since this is an eight wide, and this is a modern supercar, uh, I did bring out the uh, Ferrari F8 Tributo. This thing is mad dusty. I never clean these things. I really should, but um, if, if you look around, you can see it does appear that Lego was gone quite a ways. I always kind of felt like this car looked a bit like a transformer. This car looks so natural. The curves are very nice. And uh, the front end is, uh, it's got that thing that I talk about when it comes to the Toyota Supra or uh, my Corvette, older Corvette Stingray that I have. That long hood, I love to see that. The front end had uh, some similarities with the back end. So the back end, like I said, the trunk, it clips into uh, a couple of clips that are about like right here. Uh, the front end is very similar. So this entire, uh, just this top portion right here, not the actual uh, front splitter itself, uh, just the top portion, it clips in right here. Um, you don't really have to lean it too much. You do lean it down a little bit until you hear a small click, just a tiny one. The way that you make the doors was actually really cool. I don't know if any of you guys played Black Ops 2 Zombies, but uh, or, or any of the Zombies games. One of the most basic features that they have in that game is uh, you can go up to a window and you can board it up with wooden planks. And that's exactly what making these doors felt like. You have like a couple of posts like this with studs, like one, two, one, two. And then you put uh, a long... Uh, I think it's a uh, one by four flat, so no studs. And you put that on there and then you, you put more pieces and they just, it was, uh, it, it felt like I was boarding up a window. I did go ahead and put the uh, street looking tires on because I know that uh, Ferrari probably would dislike that. Uh, <laughs> probably not. It's a really nice Ferrari. And uh, I do think this is my favorite Ferrari. Um, I kind of say that every time a new Ferrari comes out, the. Uh, the F8 Tributo was my first Ferrari, so I can't say too much about that, but then I got some older sets, and uh, the F40 was my favorite for a while, and then the, the, um, the 512 came around. Um, but this being a modern supercar, I can tell you, it's not just because it's new. This really is my favorite one that I have so far. It looks very angry, and that is something to be appreciated. These Ferrari logos, I cannot lie, they go hard. The last page of the manual, we've seen this in recent years. The last page, if you look, it tells you to apply about like six different stickers all at once. It's very frustrating, and I wish Lego would stop. However, I have to tell you, if it wasn't for that, the alignment of most of these stickers up top would be way off. There's a reason why they do it and they don't just have you apply the stickers one by one while you're putting everything together. It's because at the very end, you can take a look at the car and put the stickers in a way so that all of the lines line up as good as you can possibly get it. You know, there's still seams, so the, the line is still, or the seam in between the stripe is still very thick. Uh, I'm not a fan of the way that that comes out all the time, but it's okay. Um, it's just, it's to be expected with Lego. And that's fine with me. Uh, the grill with the Ferrari logo, that is really, really nice. We do have those, um, I say new, I think these are actually from last year. The new pieces for the headlights, which we've actually seen previously with the Pagani Utopia. The interior, like I had earlier uh, mentioned, is actually fairly detailed. We have, uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to get you guys to see this, but there is a little center console there that might just be for drive. Yeah, it looks like there's gears and, and some other stuff. And it goes way in there and then you've got the, the right side dashboard and steering wheel you got the guy in there and of course i love those um those ferrari tagged uh headrests i think that's really funny the new wheel wells this right here this lip that literally ends at the hood that is the wheel well and that is amazing that is why we have these new ones i don't know if this car would look more appropriate if it had those because uh, I, I i can't remember exactly what the F8 Tributo looks like in real life off the top of my head. But uh, if you notice here, you know, these studs right here, if they weren't there, there would just be studs on top and uh, that would not look right. And so this car may have benefited from having these new wheel wells. I think the sticker placement, I did a really good job with, which is always something for me to be proud of because I'm not very good at sticker placement. This is up there for sure. Anyways, uh, I think that's all that I have to say about this. Surprisingly, a really, really nice build, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, yo, what that rock say?